put up YouTube. This will be my first ever YouTube video and a barber tutorial. And on this video, I will be doing the high ball fade for y'all. I know during this quarantine, uh, nobody's cutting hair and people are needing of a haircut, so this could be like an easy kind of haircut y'all can do. Uh, so I'll put the cape on in the next strip, my little brother. So I'm gonna start out with my wall, cordless magic clips with the number three guard. I'm gonna knock down the bulk around his head. This will be easier so you can see the hair where you're working with. So I will go with the clipper, not all the way to the top of his head, but kind of to the top. And when I get to the top, I scoop out. Like I start doing like a C motion to the top because you don't want to leave no, no harsh line on there. your client or your little brother whoever you cut and clean them off so the hair won't be sticking all over them so with my trimmer I believe it was gold FX's uh, you set like the ball line around his head so lightly tap to make the line don't tap too hard because you will leave a harsh line and it will be hard to take out so I go around his head a little bit above the ear So after I do that, I just take off all the hair underneath it, just ball them out. While doing this, go over a, a couple times with the area so you get every little piece of hair out of there. So here with my lever open, I will go up like half an inch above that line keep um once you do this go over it a couple times so you get every little piece of hair out of there but with my one guard with the lever open do the same thing go up like half an inch above that uh, with the lever open underneath it so if the one guard close it and you're gonna soften up the line you will see the line that the one guard left so underneath that line like flicking out with the one guard go up a, go up with the line and flick it out this won't take out the line but it will just like soften it so it'll be easier to take out With your 1 16th guard, lever open, go up with the line, flicking out. And this will take out the line that between the uh, the open, with lever open and, and the one. Well, with this, you're gonna have to be playing around a little bit with it. Cause uh, after, you, like, after you use it with the lever open, you, you will still see some of the line so this is when you can close it or go halfway closed but not but not too high don't go over the one guard just stay underneath it where you left the line line in there see then you go halfway open going up against that line So after this, you uh, you get your uh, clipper closed. We're gonna be taking off the bottom bottom line with this. So you're gonna start underneath underneath the line and flick out. Don't go don't go over that line. Stay underneath it and flick out. Once you do this, you're gonna see how it's gonna go away. Then you can open it halfway. Do one again, flicking out. Because it's not always guaranteed with the close. 
it will take out. You're going to have to play with the lever. So you do this around the head. Have it closed. Going underneath that ball line. Flicking out. Then opening halfway. Flicking out. You could do this all the way to the till uh, the blade is fully open. But always flick out and use the corner of your blades. Don't use the full blade because you will accidentally put another line in there. So just use the corners, flicking out, and you do this around the head. So right here, I will be doing the clipper of a comb. It's better if you have a white comb. I'm using the black one just because uh, my white one broke. But yeah, you just like put it at an angle and use the clipper to cut off the extra bulk. Like a, a 45 degree angle. So you do this around the head. This will like clean up the area, take out some bulk, and do it around the head, make it everything even. So what I always imagine like a box, so like have the sides going straight up, making the head look a little boxy, but not too much. So with the number two guard, I'll be going like not all the way to the top of his head, but like scooping out. And this is open by the way, just scooping out. Now closed, scooping out too. This, what I'm doing here is just taking out the line that's left of the one and the bulk on top. So scooping this out. Now with the one and one half guard open, I tend to put my finger on this because it always pops off. Um, so scooping it out, you can still see the bulk line. So this will get the blend together, knocking out that line. I'm doing this around his head, going over the spot, so every hair will, will be cut and be equal. So I'm gonna close it, scooping out, scooping out again. You can see the fade coming together. So right here, I'm doing detailed work. So I'm looking at dark spots that I see and I put the 116th guard on there and taking out some uh, dark spots around the fade. Like I said, I'm playing with the lever, opening and closing. Not going up too high, not pressing onto the clipper too hard because you will leave a line on there. You will do extra work to take that line out. So do it light, lightly. So these are my shears. I'm gonna do some scissor work on top. So I'll wet the hair. I'll make it like wet enough to where it doesn't drip and go all over the face because that's a uncomfortable feeling having water dripping down your face into your shirt. So just saturate the hair. So how I start off is since it's, he has like a comb over, so I'll just comb, comb the hair front and I'll get the right part of his hair and I'll just cut that part set my guideline and I'll just follow that guideline from the front to the back and here uh, I keep on doing it all over the head now I'm in the middle part now all the way in the left right here I cut less because like I try to keep everything even so Keep on checking the hairs where it's uneven. So for the lineup part, I pull the hair back and I put in my duck clips to keep the hair out of the way. And I comb the hairline down. So I always knock off the hairline with the one and one half guard closed. I knock it down to a sharp length where I can line up and it'll be a cleaner lineup. So with my trimmers, I always tend to start off in the middle part, going to the left, then coming back to the right, making the line line straight, like making a straight line. So just tap on it from left to right. Then 
that right here, uh, turn my clipper over, put it in that 90 degree angle on each corner. And I always double check to make, it sh to make sure it's straight. So on each side, you put in the uh, 90 degree angle on the end of the airline. So here, where I curve it on the C cup, so I tend to start up at the end and work my way down, curving it using not the whole blade, but like the end of the blade. It's like drawing for real. Use it like you're drawing. And I always line it up. I always use my comb to set it up on the other side so it can be even. So I use my portfolio shavers. Uh, I add this extra step so the fade will come out cleaner. It will be bought on the end, at the bottom of it. So I just be using it from the bottom and flicking out. You don't gotta do this, but like if you have one, you can use it. It will. It's just like an extra step to the fade to make it better looking. So after I do that flicking I always tend to go down because you leave a line with these so when I go down with the shavers it always takes off the line left by it. so I'm using the elegance gel I'm gonna style it here so I'll grab a little bit of that and I, uh, I usually just put it all over the hair, get it everywhere in the hair. So here I'm just combing the hair, put it into style. How I comb it is I always comb the front part to the back and then the rest part comb it to the side and the back part to the front. So right here I'm doing scissor work. So I use my comb and my scissor, scissor over comb. I do this to knock off the hairs at the sides or the hairs that sticking out. Make everything fall in place. So here I set him back so I can use the razor on him. And I grab my razor. I mostly dry shave because I find it easier for me and better. But once you try it, when you start off using the razor, I always put like a shaving gel on there so the razor can glide in the, in the, in the skin and every time you razor always uh, stretch out the skin so you can get every little hair out of there so this is the final look YouTube